In this video, we will recolor and enhance eyes using Affinity Photo. To make a start on this recolor and enhancement, we'll add some color into the eyes. To add the color into the eyes, we'll use a recolor adjustment layer. First, select our background layer and then click on the adjustments icon. And from the list, select Recolor. At the moment, the recolor is affecting the whole of the image, but we just want it to affect the iris area. To remove the mask from the image, all we have to do is press Ctrl and I. This will invert the mask and switch it from full to empty. The recolor layer is now blank. Now we can add our own mask by using the paintbrush. Select the paintbrush. And make sure our opacity is 100, flow is 100, and hardness is 0. Select white, and zoom in using the mouse and control wheel. Then set our paintbrush size by holding Alt, both mouse buttons, and moving the mouse left and right. And once set, we can start to paint. Just paint around the iris. Filling it in as best you can, resizing the brush as required. Here we go, that's looking pretty good. Just make sure I get all of the iris. And I think that'll do for our purposes. Okay, let's move over to the next eye. Just zoom in and then press space and drag to pan. And for this eye, I think I will use Speedy Vision. And there we have it. We've painted in the masks for both eyes. We won't have to do that again because we can reuse the masks on other adjustment layers. Right, let's set the eye colour. Just go down to our hue. I think I'll give her nice green eyes. The same as mine and reduce the saturation, set it to something more realistic. And there we go, she has pretty green eyes. Let's just shut down our recolor and also select the hand tools so I'm not drawing all over the mask. Let's quickly just rename the layer to eye color, just so that we can quickly tell what the Layer is four. Excellent. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to just pop the eye color adjustment layer into its own group. Just right click on the layer and select group. Being in its own group will allow us to change the mix on the eyes just by changing the group opacity. This will allow us to effectively mix all of the adjustments that we've created for the eyes into the old image with one single slider. Okay, while we're here, let's just rename the group. I think I'll just call it Eye Recolor just so we know that this group will contain all the adjustments to enhance the eye. So what we have so far is very nice, but it is looking a little flat. So what we need to do is do something to add some definition. And I think we'll start by enhancing the highlights. Select the eye color layer, press control and click the mask icon on the layer. This will create a selection from the mask of where we painted. Then select Adjustments and Brightness and Contrast. Zoom in. And deselect. Then just select the Brightness slider and set it to pretty bright. Now, we don't want it to affect the whole eye, so if we click this little cog, then it brings up our blend options, which are the blend ranges. On the left panel, grab the left point and drag it all the way to the bottom right. Now it affects none of the eye. Then all we do is 
move the point over like so. Now you can see we've brightened our highlights fading into the midtones. Then just bring the second point across just a tad to affect slightly more of the highlights. Now we can alter the brightness of just the highlight areas of the iris. And also while the layer is selected we can go to the opacity and using the slider affect the impact of the highlights. Okay, let's just rename the layer to highlights and that's the highlights done. Okay, highlights done, let's move to the shadows. So with the highlights selected, control and click on the mask icon to create our selection. Then adjustments and brightness and contrast. Deselect and bring the brightness down to create the shade for our shadows. I think about there. Now it's affecting the whole of the eye, which again, we don't want. So we bring up our blend ranges again. Now just bring this point on the right all the way down to the bottom left. Then bring the point over to the right and set it at the point where you have the required range being darkened. And then make sure the layer is selected and using the opacity slider set the impact to how you would like it. Well that's looking pretty good so while we're here let's just rename the layer shadows and control zero to take a look. Very nice. Okay I think it's time for us to take a little look at what we've done. So just turn off the group before turn on the group and after nice green eyes. Right, one final adjustment. Just one more to give us control over the overall tone of the eyes. We really want to be able to change the overall brightness and contrast of the eyes. So, as before, all we do is hold control and click the mask icon on the layer. Then create a new brightness and contrast adjustment and deselect. And now we have an overall control for the tone of our eyes. If we'd like to lighten them for instance. Or reduce the contrast to make the eyes more pale. This brightness and contrast adjustment will allow us to control all of our other adjustments including the highlights and the shadows that we created earlier. Just see it as a master control. Okay, now we have all of the adjustments we need to make any changes we like to our eye colour. Zoom in to take a look. Now let's say we want to make our eyes brown. If we just click on our eye colour and then just move the hue over towards the orange and reduce the saturation a little about there. Now we have brown eyes but they're a bit light so select the brightness and contrast control, reduce the brightness and increase the contrast a little. Then back down to the eye colour and reduce the saturation just a tad more. And there we go. Now she has, I think, pretty natural looking brown eyes. Take a look before and after. Or maybe we'd like to make the eyes blue. And now that's obviously far too dark, so brightness and contrast and up the brightness. Reduce the contrast, then back over to the eye colour and just reduce the saturation a little bit. That's about it, and there we have it, beautiful piercing blue eyes. So you can play with the colour or the saturation or brightness and contrast. And if you want to mix the colour with the original colour, all you have to do is select the group and change the opacity, set it to whatever mix you would like. So with one slider you have control over how much of the new colour can mix with the old colour. 
And that looks very nice and subtle, but I don't do subtle, so I'm going to whack it up to full piercing blue. And of course, we can also control the amount of highlights. We can change the brightness on the panel, like so. And you can also change the intensity with the opacity slider. So I think for this, I'll give a very bright highlights. And the same goes for the shadows. Change the brightness of the shadows using the panel brightness slider or use the opacity slider to change the intensity, which is the brightness effectively. There you have it. With these adjustments, you have all the controls you need to change the color and tone of the eyes. Now, there are a couple of other enhancements that we can do to eyes to make them pop a little bit more and make them look a little better. The first one is to add just a little clarity to the eyeball. This will just make them look a little bit more alive. Just select our background layer and add a clarity filter. Then bring our clarity all the way to the top which is far too much. Then grab our paintbrush, make sure we're on white, press Ctrl and I to invert the filter mask, and then using the paintbrush, just paint the clarity back into the eyeball, like so. And of course, over the second eyeball. And then Bring down the radius and set it to a point where it's not too much, just a little. And that will, let's just zoom out. That will, if we turn it off and on, and you can see it just gives a little bit of pop to the eyes. But don't use clarity too much because it can make them look a little glassy. Now another filter you can add to enhance eyes is just a little bit of sharpening around the eyelashes and the eyebrows. All we do is select Live Filters and Unsharp Mask. Then we just set the factor to maximum and the radius up high enough so that we can definitely see the effect. And again, grab our paintbrush Make sure we have white, control I to invert the mask, and then just paint the sharpening filter all around the eyelash area, like so. Then bring the panel back up, and then bring your radius and factor down, and then slowly and but surely set your radius and factor to the point where you can see that they're nice and sharp. I think that's a bit too much, so there for the radius and up with the factor. And I think that's about fine. Okay, that's given us nice sharpening without it being all crunchy. And now when we turn this off and on, off and on, especially if we zoom in, off and on, we have nice sharp eyelashes. While we're here, let's just do these eyebrows. Here we go. Just paint them in as we're still on the paintbrush. And I think that looks very nice indeed. Okay, so we've recolored the eyes and we've done some basic enhancements. So let's take a look at our work. First select the eye colour group and then shift and select the clarity layer and then just turn the group off and turn it on, off and on. And I think you'd agree that we've done a pretty good job so far. Now for our final adjustment to make the model look more alert will increase the size of the pupils. 
select our background and duplicate it so we're not destroying the original. Then select the liquefy persona, zoom in, and the first thing we are going to do is just to reduce our brush size, bring it right down to about that size so that we can use it to apply freeze. Apply some freeze to the catch lights so that when we increase the pupil size the catch lights themselves won't resize, they won't warp. Next select the pinch tool and increase our brush size to about there. Then with little movements wiggle around in the hole in the pupil until it's opened up to the size we like. Then the other one bit by bit until they're roughly the same size. And when we're done just hit apply. Control zero to take a look. And if we take a look now her pupils will be wider. Before and after, before and after. And that is how we recolor and enhance eyes with Affinity Photo. Let's take a quick look at our work. This is before and after. And before and after. And before and after. Excellent.